All right, guys, this is the Michael Myers fanatic back with another video. As you can see here, it says Blumhouse has reportedly found their writer for Halloween 2. Halloween 2, that's what they're calling it. But I thought the last movie that they just did was Halloween 2. So technically, wouldn't this be Halloween 3? Just saying. This is already starting to become a mess. But anyway, it says here, after the smash hit success of David Gordon Green's Halloween last year, it was only natural that a sequel would soon be ordered. Even if the 2018 film promised the final confrontation between Laurie and Michael Myers. And as we've told you, a sequel is indeed being developed. Collider reports tonight that a writer has been found. According to the site, Scott Teams is in talk to pen the sequel script. And they have here in quotes, which will be based on a well-liked treatment Teams has already written for the company. This lines up with our recent scoop that an unknown writer was working on the sequel back in October of last year. Teams also wrote Blumhouse's upcoming adaptation of the Stephen King tales Firestarter and The Breathing Method, which are currently in the works. Collider notes that Jamie Lee Curtis Judy Greer and Andy Matichak will all likely be returning for the sequel. As for David Gordon Green, his involvement is unknown. It is entirely possible that Blumhouse could rush Halloween 2 out for release this coming October, but at this point it seems more likely for an October 2020 release. So that's basically it, as you can see. They're working on another Halloween and they're calling it Halloween 2. Here's my thing. I'm always gonna support the Halloween franchise even if I don't agree with the direction. You guys already know that. What I'm afraid of is that they're going to turn this whole thing into a repeat. And I don't mean to sound so rude, but they're going to look like one trick ponies. In other words, all they've got to dish out is Halloween. If you're doing another Halloween movie, how is that so spectacular? Because we just saw Halloween, like with an actress like Andy Matichak. She's new, so they should have put her in something else and then let her come back to Halloween. That's the way I would have done it. But doing Halloween back to back like that, it just looks stale. And I think that this Halloween movie is going to be stale anyway. Because sequels are normally inferior to their predecessors i'm not saying it can't be better than the first movie which is actually the second movie and that completely makes no sense but you know what i mean but in all likelihood it's probably gonna be worse than the first movie which is actually the second movie but you get what i mean the point is this one is probably going to be worse than 2018 because it's going to start becoming stale. I said this in an earlier video. It looks like what they're trying to do is make Andy the new Lori and make Andy the next Scout Taylor Compton. This is basically recycling Rob Zombie's Halloween. Think about it. The kills are brutal. The material is much more graphic. Like they say things like, I got peanut butter on my penis. They said that 
you know, in the last Halloween. They weren't saying things like that in the first eight movies. So this is much more like Rob Zombie's Halloween. And like I told you, Andy Matichak kind of looks like Scout Compton did in her younger days. And I don't know. I just feel that after a while, it's going to become stale. I'll be really surprised if this ends up being better than 2018 Halloween. I highly doubt it, but you never know. And I said this before. I feel like what they're going to do is they're trying to build a new series off of the Allison character. So essentially what they're going to have is Allison running from Michael Myers for the rest of her life. That's where I see this as going. I could be wrong. Like, I'd be really shocked if Michael Myers killed Allison or Lori. Well, not. I wouldn't really be shocked if he killed Lori, but I would be shocked if he killed Allison. And I think that's the way they should go with this. But they've already messed up by ignoring the other movies to begin with and making Michael Myers a 60-year-old man. I don't know what else to say. Anyway, I'll be back whenever they make the next big announcement. I'll put the link in the description box so you guys can read it. Like I said, I don't agree with the direction, but I'll support it because it's really all I have. Because there aren't going to be any more movies with the original saga, at least not right now. All right, guys, that's basically the end of this video. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. Blumhouse has reportedly found their writer for Halloween 2, which is actually Halloween 3 because the last one is Halloween 2. But, you know, whatever. Goodbye.